guys, we're at the Orleans Casino and of course hotel and resort in Las Vegas. This is off strip, but they do have a free shuttle to mid strip. And I wanted to quickly show you the inside well, the parts that I can show you. And just to give you a feel of what it is like, but it is very late. It's one o'clock in the morning roughly, so it's not as buoyant as it was earlier on. Of course, I'm at the more, uh, I, I'm at the quieter side. Now I'm gonna proceed towards the front. It's actually quite a large casino. They've got lots and lots of machines, um, so you won't be bored here. Obviously, there is a bit of a theme, clearly, at this casino, the Orleans, or the old Orleans. And uh, it's rather pretty for that reason. This is the inside. It's rather pretty. It's not as elaborate as the Paris, for example, but uh, in terms of decoration on the inside, in terms of the work that they put in to make it a theme resort. But it's very nice enough, and it's a, it's a nice enough resort. It's, an, it's a budget resort, and uh, we often come here uh, because of, obviously it has a free shuttle to mid strip which is also very nice just like the Gold Coast only this is a bigger resort than Gold Coast this is the entrance one of the entrances of the Orleans and uh, I hope you can see but the Orleans also has obviously a, a relatively large arena not as big as MGM Grand of course they have a lot of comedy acts Big names, so check that out. They have um, a food court, um, but they also have um, a bowling center, rather large, and a movie theater, well, several movie theaters. We used to come here and, and see lots of movies, but then we decided, well, then we stopped and we went to the IMAX instead because we like to, wa we like to watch 3D movies. But this is a really good option if you come with, a fam with your family or with, you know, older children, so to speak. It can be good fun for all of you, but it also can be good fun for a group of friends who want to do something in the day and not necessarily just only lounge around at the pool area or gamble. You don't want to gamble all day long. You're going to end up losing a lot of money. Um, and of course, you know, if you want to go to the strip, you can catch their free shuttle to mid strip and then walk north or northbound or southbound from there. It's very convenient. I have to admit, it's very convenient and it's a budget resort, so I like that. That's the free shuttle leaving for that's where you wait for it, and this is where it leaves. And it takes you from here, it takes you directly to mid strip. Uh, it has already stopped the Gold Coast, it's the part of the same chain. Um, but it's a really nice. I love the fact that and it's so frequent too. I love the fact that they offer these free shuttles which are frequent um, And by that I mean, you know every 15 minutes perhaps, you know depending on uh, the time of the day But I find them very frequent. I never really had to wait a significant amount of time because They have two or three and they just go around all the time and it doesn't take long to get to mid strip from here It really depends on traffic of course now I'm gonna step back a little bit and show you the Orleans from the outside this is the sign, the Orleans sign, which you will see and notice at night. But I want to show the Orleans. It's so pretty from the outside. Um, you know, it really has uh, matched the Orleans theme so well. And uh, if you've never been to or New Orleans, then uh, I tell you, some buildings look exactly like this one. And if you have been, you probably realize it or agree with me that there is a huge resemblance there. Isn't this really pretty? It's really pretty. It's so peaceful out here. Of course, you're not on the strip, but if you are on a budget, you might well want to consider this place. It's a very, it's, it's a nice place. It's clean, you know. It is not luxury, of course. I mean, it is a budget resort, but uh, as they go, this has a lot to offer. It's very pretty. It's you know it's got this great theme and they offer free shuttles and of course if you drive a car then it all is quite irrelevant because you can drive um, from wherever you are let's see if you can make out if you can make out the strip from here it really does not take long to go uh, to the strip from here at all just a matter of minutes really you cannot walk from here though, although you could walk from Gold Coast, which is its sister, um, you know, it, it is its twin hotel, so to speak. speak. 
okay now I want to show you I don't know if it's open but I would like to show you the bowling center and the movie theater uh, but if not I'll just show you how to get there or just the outside so it is important that you don't limit yourself to the obvious choices in Vegas if you are on a budget um, unless you absolutely must stay on the strip in which case your choices are you know you've got two or three basically and we talk about that on top-buffet.com but um, if, if you if you think a little bit outside the box you can get a lot more for your money and uh, you know as I say and I would always opt for uh, resorts that offer a free shuttle if you do not have a car having said that renting a car in uh, Vegas is very easy and if you follow our tips we have a section on Vegas transportation and at the bottom you can read all about renting a car um, it will cost you about $12 a day and if it's the two of you it's only $6 a day plus petrol it really gas and so it really is not an expense to even be worrying about because it'll cost you more in cabs much more in cabs so bear all that in mind if you don't drive so obviously so if you don't drive it'll be important that you choose a, a resort that offers a free shuttle and more important frequent free shuttle to the strip and that does uh, have a pro listen to that right eh? <laughs> listen to that it's funny does have a prolonged service um, late at night this one here I think goes on until two o'clock in the morning which is nice uh, it's a lot better than most uh, shuttles a lot better some resorts offer a very limited shuttle services service to the strip okay guys let's see if I can show a little bit more from the of the inside but I do have in any case uh, a video of the room a standard room of the Orleans of the very good fitness center that's open until 9 in the evening and uh, of, of course a video of the um, of the pool which is very popular and hopefully that will give you an idea of what to expect if you choose to if you choose to book at this at the Orleans in Las Vegas and in any case we hope that the advice we have on top buffetcom will help you make those decisions further okay guys and this is the other side of the beautiful Orleans uh, Resort and Casino in Vegas and uh, this is the other this is actually the main entrance if you come here by car or cab actually by taxi and uh, so as you can see it's well themed all the way around and the actual buildings where the rooms are uh, they're like in a cross they're made like a cross and this is one side you can see the blue section higher up and of course where the lower areas it's where they have of course the casino the bowling center and so forth it's beautiful though I hope you agree with me and uh, so check that out I mean how to how to find a cheap room here well first of all if you gamble any even just a little the next time you'll probably be comped we got three nights we received three comp nights here comp means free and by free I mean you do not even have to pay the resort fee because for some other resorts when it's comped you still have to pay the resort fee which is ridiculous um, for example New York New York I just found that out I mean that changes all the time though so it's always good to phone the, the your chosen resort and find out what uh, what it's what the deal is with regards to uh, the resort fee even if you're comped um, but if you're not comped you can find good deals on a couple of websites uh, that are that specialize on on hotel deals in Vegas and we mentioned those on top-buffet.com that we have a section on cheap Vegas hotels or budget and um, and and if you read there you'll, if you read that page you can find hopefully good tips and tricks to find a really really good deal for this particular resort or other affordable Vegas resorts so guys see you on top-buffet.com if I manage to be able to show you the bowling center and the movie theater uh, tonight I'll do it on this video otherwise I'll have a new video um, separate from this and I'll do it tomorrow see you on top-buffet.com guys bye bye okay guys I've come up the escalator and uh, the first thing you do when you come up to the upper floor of the Orleans Casino you see this arcade of course you know for the little suites for kids the arcade right here 
I'll show you. So you know, as you can see, it's kind of family oriented or rather just youngsters oriented, I'd say. The machines, they all actually are good quality. I quite like them. Uh, they've got lots of games and uh, they're a good image. The image rendering is, this one is a little bit less actually. It is a bit old. Some old, some new. The ones on this side are rather new. And then the ones at my back and on my side are a little bit older. And of course you've got your little dance, that dance little toy game. So you know, I mean, it's small. It's nowhere near as big as at the at Circus Circus, of course. But this is not a dedicated family-only resort. In fact, it's it's for everybody. They have a little bit for everybody. Um, so that's the difference. Plus, it's a smaller resort. And this is the bowling center. Huge. It's really huge. It's very popular. Popular with locals. Popular with uh, resort resort uh, guests. Resortists, rather. <laughs> okay, I'll just quickly. I mean, bear in mind that it's around one o'clock in the morning, around. So it's rather busy still. Look how busy it is. It's very lively. So if you're like a group of friends and you don't necessarily want to spend all your money down at the casino, this is a nice, fun thing to do. Or if you're a family and want to do this together, you know? I mean, I think it's nice. For some people, of course, all if you want is the bars and the strip and and the strip party atmosphere. Then, of course, this may not be for you. Although, as I said, they offer free shuttles to the strip. Well, I hope this has been of use. And uh, for other information about budget uh, hotels in Vegas, budget resorts in Vegas, and how to find good deals in Vegas, see you on top buffet dot com. See you there guys. Bye bye.